Hello everybody and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers franchise uh, episode, I don't fucking know, it's the dra it's the 2027 draft episode. Uh, as we're here at the, on uh, June 5th, uh, for the first year player draft, we sit 35 and 23, first in the American League uh, Central Division, about a game and a half over Cleveland. Now, we're a bit overperforming but only by about two games. And the lineup is struggling, like, really bad. Um, the pitching's been good overall. Good good starter, good bullpen. The defense has been worse than I've expected, but still not terrible. I don't know. This team's just kind of okay when they have the potential to be so much more. Um, basically, this team been being, has been getting carried by Green, Keith, uh, Tanaka, and the the big three in the rotation, as well as the, the fact that the bullpen has been pitching quite well. Um, so draft day. Uh, we don't have a ton of picks in this draft because we've traded a lot of them. So, um, let's go, I guess? <laughs> we have our first round pick at the very least. Okay, what is available here? Uh, a lot of college guys, but actually, meant a lot of high school guys, but honest to God, I don't hate it. Uh, looks more like a left fielder than anything. Joe Irvin, maybe a center fielder, but more of a fringe center fielder. So I like that, sp I like that split of those things. Dusty Powell, not a catcher, and honest to God, not as not a big fan of him. Ronnie Olma, not an infielder, honestly. Like that, that's not good defense. What about this guy. Uh, not really a defense, not really an infielder either. Um, Jesus. <laughs> I like him. Honest to God, it's between Meade and uh, Irvin. I think he can be a good third baseman, though he would need to obviously develop and train up. This guy is... I don't know. I really don't. 18 years old. I think Irvin's just better. Yeah, Irvin's just a little bit better. We're gonna take Joe Irvin. And this is our this is our last pick until the seventh round of the draft. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we lost a lot of fucking picks uh, through trades and stuff. But I will still pick up Vance Wintman. And I'm going to go no relievers. Honestly, kind of a deep draft class, so I'm not too, too disappointed with, the lack, with our lack of picks. Uh, we have another pick here in the seventh round. I'm taking the college arm, Caleb Hoover. Okay, uh... Who's this guy? Corner outfield bat with some pop. I'll take him. Uh... High college center fielder might actually have some center field ability. I'll take this kid. I'll take this kid. He he has potential. Oh, we get the very next pick too. I'll take Bobby Perrymond. I don't like this. I don't like that this guy's personality is just garbage. Um, hmm, let's see here. Probably the last round that I'm going to fucking take somebody in, or, or that I'm going to show you me taking guys in. Um, Bo 
Boston Bateman. Could be a reliever. I'll, I'll, I'll take a swing at him. Sasquatch. Out of LSU. Okay, see you at the end of, the, end of the draft. Okay, so really we only had to give out money to three guys. Uh, Perry Mund, Whitman, and Joe Irvin. Um, am I going to regret uh, not having as many picks in this draft? Probably, because this was a quite good draft class. But, uh, oh well. Yeah, I'm not too, too concerned about the fact that we didn't have all that many picks. Uh, uh, the, uh, the farm system is a bit weak, but I can be rebuilt through international free agency and further drafts. Um, and the reason why the farm system is quite weak is because most of our top prospects have graduated, so or been shifted or been traded off for like big league talent. So again, not not overly concerned. Um. Anyways, it is time to quickly just... Uh, I'm, I'm swimming forward to the deadline. See you there. Okay, so just stopping at the All-Star break this year because um, uh, in years past, I really haven't had much of a reason to stop here. Uh, we Our two major All-Stars, Jackson Job, who's having a fantastic season this year, uh, and where is he? Um, Riley Green. There are, they are, Colt Keith also got it, but he's still injured, so he he doesn't get in. We had three All-Stars this year, which is more than I'm pretty sure we've ever had, um, which is good. Uh, Yamamoto actually made it, so it's four. <laughs> four All-Stars this year. Fantastic showing at the, at the July showcase of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what the fucking All-Star game's for. <laughs> But yeah, good thing. And uh, Aaron jo Judge was the top vote getter, and he was also the uh, MVP. So that's cool. Home run trophy, and I'm pretty sure he also got the MVP. No, wait, it was Zach Veen. Fuck me, I guess. Okay. Okay, boys, well, welcome to Deadline Day. Um, the team needs some help. Like, we, we really, for the first time, like, Especially given how bad last year was. We really don't need a lot of bullpen help. Uh, we called up Chase Burns to be a stopper. Uh, his ERA looks bad, but he's only pitched six in a third innings. And he had one really bad game. Besides that, it's been fine. The pitching's fine. The lineup is the fucking problem. Um, though it's weird. Like, the guys are performing. Um. Well, mostly Parker Meadows has been quite bad, but he also missed like two months of the season. Uh, speaking of missing quite a lot of time, Colt Keith's still going to be out for like two more weeks, and then the backup Christian Santana got hurt for two to three week for three to four weeks. So yeah, this is we have a hole at third base. Um, now, do we choose to fill that hole, or do we just let Oliver Dunn continue to play there? I don't really know. Do we finally put fucking William Sullivan out of his misery because he's just not performing at DH nearly the way I'd like him to? Uh, I don't know. Like, this lineup is weird because, like, oh, so I'm going to swap Sullivan and Torkelson because Torkelson started to hit where Sullivan is still just kind of league average at best. I, I don't really know what to do with this team this year. Um... Like, I guess the best I could do is just look at the trade block and, and see if there's any of these players I really want. Outman? No, not really. Bellinger's hurt, so no. Dylan Carlson? He's hitting. He should not be playing center field. He's only playing it at, like, a Henry Malloy-type fucking clip. Uh, Jaron Duran? I'm sorry about those uniforms, Red Sox fans. Those are not your unis. Uh, 
anybody on the block who's actually hitting well and played a decent amount of games. Vlad Jr.'s playing well, and he's played a decent amount of games. Santander's hitting well, despite playing quite a few games. Um, what would San what would it take to get to get me and Anthony Santander? Okay, this guy's just a bullpen. Honestly, not terrible. Bennett, I'm not giving them Bennett. Bennett's... It's on an expiring contract. Uh, I don't really see this guy being anything. And he could be something, though. He's also 17. I'm not. Would he ask for the same thing there? No. What if I add him to the deal, but then decide I'd rather have this guy? I could still have him. Well, I haven't, so, no. <laughs> okay, uh, prospects. The prospects are on point. Okay, but is that a bridge too far? Yeah, that's a bridge too far. Let's see, two million? Two million in cash? Okay, two million's too much. Okay, so this is what we're going for. We're trading uh, Vincent Orzio, uh, who's been quite good, and uh, he, he he's just a straight-up reliever. Like, he, he's got no stamina... And, like, stuff is fantastic. Like, overall, like, the, he has a chance to be a fantastic reliever in the future. But in order to get Santander and, like, three prospects, I'd be stupid to pass this up. So, yeah, I, even if these guys aren't exactly the world's greatest prospects, I, it's still better than these two dumbasses. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to complete that move. We're gonna look at the block one, and we're gonna look at the block again. Um, no, 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 no. Okay, you want me to give you two fucking no? <laughs> fucking worst trades I've ever fucking seen. Who else is actually playing and hitting? I don't want to trade in division. Probably not putting up like the numbers I'd want. He's in the final year of his contract. I'm not bringing him back. I I don't. I'm not. I'm not going all out for a massive rental this year. Um. Like I've made a lot of moves, but I'm not I'm not fucking doing that for a rental. What about Joey? What do the White Sox want for Joey Gallo. Not much. Honestly, I may just keep him off the bench in case I need a home run in the postseason. Fuck it. Uh, 
Okay, who am I taking off the fucking roster? Um, yeah, it's Mendoza. Does Henry Malloy really deserve to get benched? Like, he's hitting well, but he's probably not hitting at quite the clip that really warrants benching. Like, he's hitting better than Sullivan. Though Sullivan's near the top of the team in home run. He's leading the team in home runs. But he just doesn't do much else besides hit home runs. But his BABIP is also really fucking low. If that were to get up to, like, 290, he would... But it's also his third fucking year, and his BABIP has always been really fucking low. You know what? I, I, I've made up my mind. Malloy is going to be the DH. Sullivan's going to drop out of the order. Or actually, is Malloy going to be... Malloy's a decent defender. How is Santander? Okay, Santander is going to be the DH. Malloy is going to be the right fielder. Also, is Santander like a big splits guy? I've never really like actually fucking looked at his stats. Yeah, he he's a righty crusher. So we're going to have him in against righties. Uh, how are his stats? I, if I remember right, they're more... Yeah, his stats are actually really good on both sides. So we will keep Malloy in against lefties. Uh, Gallo's a guy who can play all around the field, so... At least I think he can. I'm pretty sure he can play third base. Um... So now I'm kind of terrified to see, like, like what, what is he? Much worse infielder than I remember him being. Okay, I guess he can't play third base. Still, though, not a horrible player. Um, I'm not going to, like, fucking send down Dom Johnson, because he's only on this team to... Play defense. I don't even. He's not good though. Like he, he, he's, yeah. You know he's getting sent down. For as good as he is, he cannot fucking play baseball. Joey Gallo's on the roster now. Um, Here's the pinch hitters against them. Here's the pinch hitters against them. Wait, uh, 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 wait a minute. No, no. He Sullivan's the DH. He's the right fielder. Um. Is there some sort of super reliever on the market who who the game is who who they're gonna, who a team would actually be willing to fucking part with, or is it all just garbage? Diaz is on the market, but I'm gonna guess he has a fucking trade clause, or they don't want to fucking move him, or great number of things really. Yeah, they don't they don't want to move him. I have literally never actually seen uh, seen it to where he's not on the fucking pitching market. You know, on Duran. Yeah, he's not on the fucking trade block if the only thing you're willing to do is my fucking best young player on the team. Duvall? Like, I like Clay Holmes, but I'm not trading anybody for him. But Duvall. 
You you want the future, you want the catcher of the future, or you want, yeah, no. No deal. Michael Fulmer. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, 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 oh, God. Clay Holmes is having a great season. You know what? What 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 does Kansas City want for Clay? How's this guy doing? White West Michigan White Caps. Having a great season. Uh I I don't really like this profile with the no power. Be willing to take on a bit of his salary. They're paying him twenty-two million dollars, or at least the fucking Blue Jays were. What the fuck? Because <laughs> it looks like they traded for him for something. I, I don't. I don't know. Fuck it. You know what? We'll just. Can I get $1.5 million out of you? Can I even get a million out of you? Half a million. Or 750,000. Okay, I can see you're being a fucking pain in the ass. Half a million. Four hundred thousand? Damn, usually they'll give you the fucking money by now. Okay. Okay, 250,000. You know what? Here, have him. He's getting sent down for Clay Holmes. Uh, probably not Reese Olsen. Connor Holden hasn't even pitched yet. You know what? We're, we're going. We're going. Welcome to the fucking club, Clay. Middle relief. More often, high leverage. Yeah, I, I like that. I asked them to tell him to avoid high leverage. That's probably the deadline. We we made a couple depth acquisitions in terms of in terms of offense, and we uh, went out there and um, we we added another reliever to the pen. I, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Um, let's let's see if we get any fucking in intriguing offers, but I, I don't think we will. Okay, are we going to get anything, or... Nope. Okay. <sighs> well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Detroit Tigers franchise here on Out of the Park Baseball 25. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and goodbye.